Praise the Lord and welcome to Push. Pray until something happens. We are here tonight in the studio, Evangelist Betty Sills. That's who I am. And joining me is Evangelist Terrell Lipsy. And we're here to encourage your hearts. Remember, you know, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of what comes across life, you're to pray always and not faint. Never give up. Keep praying and seeking the Lord because he and he alone can deliver you and answer all your prayers. Uh, tonight we'll be coming from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7. But just before we get into scripture, uh, I'd just like to offer up a prayer. Praise the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for an another day, another setting, Father God, that you've entrusted, that you have warned that we would go before, Lord God, and show your glory. Let it shine through us, Lord God, that someone will be enlightened through your word. Someone will be encouraged through us, Lord God, so that we would pray for someone who needs prayer. Pray for those who cannot pray for themselves, Lord God. Those that are watching, Lord God, we ask that you touch their hearts and mind and strengthen them, Lord God. Let us share something with them that will help them along life's journey. In the name of Jesus, bless those in the studio and bless this, this Vision TV station, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. All right. Uh, I'm going to start reading from Second Chronicles, uh, the seventh chapter. And this uh, has to do with a prayer that Solomon prayed. Uh, the the uh, temple has been built and dedicated. And now there's a series of things that come from the uh, prayer that Solomon has prayed. And there's a way that we are uh, going to look at this uh, so that we can share something that's noteworthy with you to help you. Uh, praise God. Um, Chapter 7, and I'm starting at the first verse. It says, when Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Verse 2 states, and the priests could not enter the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. Verse 3, when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord on the temple, they bowed their faces to the ground on the pavement and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Praise God. Evangelist, would you have words there, or should I continue in your hearing? We're, we're here. Uh, Solomon prayed, and prayer is connection with God. The more time you spend in prayer with God, God can move in every situation. Now, I hear he prayed yeah. for God to do something. You know, even with Jesus, he prayed. And when he prayed and when he did in secret, when he got out in public, he did something, God would show up every time. So here, Solomon uh, prayed for God to respond to the situation, yeah. to what was happening, what was going on. And, and even today, people are looking to see something you know, we talk about Jesus and we talk about the Word of God, but people are looking to see something, the power of God in action. Uh, and prayer will put the power of God in action. Yes. Because through the power of prayer, it moves the hand of God. It brings things together. It moves stuff out of the way. It brings healing. You know, even in, it talks about in, um, uh, uh, in uh, James uh, chapter 4 and 16, uh -huh. uh, uh, action to 17, it said that, Confess your faults to one another that you may be healed. The fragrant prayer of a righteous man availed much. Yes. But then verse three, at uh, verse seventeen, it said that Solomon had to, what, to pray for not to rain for three and a half years. But Elijah prayed for not to rain for three and a half years. But then he went back to pray again 
for rain to come. And he told them to go to Ahab, prepare yourself for abundant rain is coming. So for a great move of God to come, it has to be prayed in and not talked in. So a lot of people talk about a move of God to come, yeah. but spend no time in prayer. There's 86,400 seconds in one day. How much time do you spend in prayer? There's 160 hours in a week. How much time do you spend in prayer? We want God to move, but how much time do we give God in prayer for God to move? Amen. Praying without ceasing. Yes. That's the encouraging word today. Moving to verse 12 of the seventh chapter of Second Chronicles, mm -hmm. it reads, Then the Lord appeared to Solomon uh -huh. by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen the place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will give, forgive their sin and heal the land. My God, I want to stop right there because there's a lot in that. Mm -hmm. uh, the people themselves who had sin, they had sin and caused God to judge them. Now, in order for them to uh, be forgiven of the, their sin so that the land could be healed, there was a lot of steps to be done in order for the land to be healed. And it kind of reminds me of how, how, how sin is just raging through the land today. It, 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 it's so much to that and so much to talk about. Uh, and, and these, God gave specific instructions in this, in this text. It's like one, you could not get to the, the land being healed unless you did A, B, C, and D. Well, well, you know, even even here, um, you know, um, in verse twelve of the appeal, Solomon had gotten away from God and had gotten involved with all these different religions and all these different gods, and he had got away from God. You know, even today, uh, in our, in our lives, you know, you, so you, someone may be out there, you may be have gotten away from God, mm -hmm. but if you would get back to prayer, God can bring you back. You know, and one thing I learned years ago, my great-grandmother, she was 105 when she passed away, and she used to tell me, she said, boy, you'd be out in the streets all night long, and I would be in the house praying for you in the bed at night. And she said, I wouldn't go to sleep till I heard your footsteps come in the house. And I didn't understand what she was saying then. But through her prayers, a lot of things that should have happened to me in the streets didn't happen because of her prayers. It shunned the enemy away. You know, and, 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 and I thank God that she prayed, and, 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 and I love prayer, because I know prayer is, 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 is to change. It's the Central Avenue God used to transform my life, and those that don't want to change will assume abandoned prayer. You know, you can call for the church picnic and the, and the church uh, shopping spree and go to the bowling alley or some kind of picnic. People will pack the place out. But if you call for a prayer meeting, you can't find nobody. You know, I live down the street from one of the biggest churches in Los Angeles, and sometimes I go to uh, 6 a.m. prayer. I haven't been in a while, but sometimes I would go, and out of 10,000 people, you may find 20 people in the prayer room in the morning at 6 a.m. You know, and, and, I, and so I, you know, today, the time that we're living in now, a little prayer is not enough. You know, and even in 14, verse 14, he's talking about my people call my name, humble themselves and pray and turn from evil work ways, and, 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 you know, and, and and so here, he, uh, in, 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 in verse 13, when he closed up the heavenly command, he allowed something to happen to bring the people back to prayer. Okay. Even today, uh, in America, all this stuff is happening. Modern-day Babylon, this thing is happening today. God is trying to bring America back to her knees 
They cry out to him to bring a change. Because every time Israel got in trouble, they would cry out to God for God to bring them back. Even with Moses, when he went up and he laid before God for 40 and cried out for the people because they had sinned against God, for God not to destroy them. We got to get back to the place and realize we got to pray for a change to come. We're talking about what's going on in America, but who's praying for America to come back to God? Praise the Lord. So you're saying there has to be a, a national repentance. Yes. And yes. reformation yes. Yes. Uh, is quite required. But, 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 but if you notice now, around. he said, he, had, he, he said, I, he appeared to Solomon one night, said, I've chosen this house for a house of sacrifice. You know, he said, have I heard the prayer that come from this place? So it was some person that was happening with, with Solomon in the place. He said, I heard the prayer. He says, one thing uh, for you to pray, but can God hear the prayer? Amen. Amen. See, you can pray, but it's not the power of your prayer. So, well, who hears the prayer? So if a prayer can't get through, then God can't release nothing. That's right. So verse 14 telling you what to do for a power of prayer, uh, for a prayer to be released. He's telling you what we need to do in verse 14. And I like how it says in the Amplified, it says they would crave uh, and seek my faith as a vital necessity. Then when I come and heal the land. That means prayer is something that we need to do. Yeah. It's, it's not an option. We have to pray for God to move. Amen. It's a requirement. Yes. Praise God. Would you um, evangelists pray a prayer, uh, a national prayer for America and other nations to model themselves as a nation that's clinging to God's word and wanting uh, the, the land to be healed? Yes. Well, Father, we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we magnify, we glorify your name tonight, O oh God. Lord, it's forgive us for not seeking your face, O oh God. Lord, not going after you, O oh God. And David says, a dear friend of the water books of my soul, thirst after you, O oh God. Oh, God, I pray in the name of you, Lord, forgive us. Have mercy on us, oh, God. We will turn back to that place of prayer for a change to happen, oh, God. We will pray in your power. We will pray for revival. We will pray for a move. We will pray for deliverance in every city, every nation, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you are even the church, oh, God. Lord, bring it back to the church like never before, oh, God. Lord, 24-hour prayer, around-the-clock prayer, in the name of Jesus. As you told, oh, oh God, Ezekiel, to go in the house and shut the door. Let us get back to prayer, oh, God. Get back to shutting in and shutting out in the name of Jesus. Oh God, stir us again. Uh. Oh God, put the fight back in us. Uh. That desire, God, the cry for souls that come into the kingdom in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Lord, we're praying now, oh God. Lord, have mercy on America. Have mercy on the church. Uh. Have mercy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, send uh, back the fire to the house of God in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're crying tonight in the name of Jesus for a great move to come to America. Oh, God, uh, that healing will come to the land. Uh, that healing will come to the schools. Uh, that healing will come in every nation in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we thank you. And, Lord, we magnify you uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, send a revival. Lord, send fire. Send the rain. Uh, send the winds. Uh, send the power of the Holy Ghost afresh in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the whole Hallelujah. shake it. It could every wall come down, Lord. Break every chain, uh, break every shackle, uh, Lord. Every disease, uh, every sickness, uh, break every bondage, uh, every addiction. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal, uh, Lord, restore, Lord, deliver. Oh God, send a fresh word, oh God. Oh God, we thank you now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Bring us back to prayer, Lord. Bring us back again. Bring us back again. Oh, God, that backslidden pastor, bring him back, oh, God. That backslidden abandoned, bring him back, oh, God. Some are stuck in bondage, oh, Lord, bring him back, oh, God. Lord, we're crowned tonight, oh God. You'll bring them out, oh God. Out of darkness to your marvelous light, oh God. Lord, you're not giving up on them. You're not changing your mind about the car, Lord. And Lord, we pray tonight, you will bring them back, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Uh, every dark place, every crooked place, uh, every low place, uh, every, through, uh, every dark place, you will bring them back, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Lord, give us a little more time. 
Give us a little more time, oh God. Yes, come back to that. Your people, stir your people again. Yes, they will come back to prayer. Oh God, stir your people, oh God. Oh God, we need more of you, oh God. As your son Jesus prayed. He spent multiple hours in the prayer, oh God, with no time playing with the devil because he had power. Oh God, let us pray to get power to raise the dead, power to move mountains, power to move nations, power to change cities, change communities, to change our schools, change the prison, the hospitals, the jails, be empty through the power of prayer. Lord, bring us back to that place again. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you now. And we give you glory, God, for the change that's taking place even right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Lord. Mm, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise, honor, and Hallelujah. glory. It all belongs to him. Great, hallelujah, is his faithfulness. Yes, Lord. And he's a God that keeps his promises. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, my Lord, God. I feel like praying all night tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mm. Jesus. Because when we sin and we go against God, we're dishonoring him. And yes. so we don't want to dishonor him. We want to always stay in his good grace. Amen. Better finish you, this. You know, you know, you know, in, the, you know in uh James 4 and 10, it says, humble yourself. Yeah. In the mighty hand of God, he will lift you up, he will exalt you in due time. Yeah. And you know, and, and humble yourself, you go and pray, you humble yourself. I like to lay out on the floor. Just lay flat on the floor and lay out before God. And, and you know, and, and uh, uh, reading in First uh, Kings eighteen and thirty five, when when Elijah had prayed for fire to come out from heaven, it said it consumed not only an offering, but it sucked up the water, it, it sucked up the rocks, and it, it even uh, dry, it, it burned up the dust. What God can do a thing like that? And in verse 30, 39, then it said that when the people saw it, they said, "He's God. The Lord is God. The Lord is God." Yeah. You know, uh, it, 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 that text is talking about when he when he prayed. To their God and say, he had prayed all night long and, and he said, your God must be out to lunch. He, he must be on vacation. He must be out of town. He must be in the mall shopping. And his, their God didn't show up. But when they call, when Elijah called his God, when you're, con when you're connected to God in prayer and spend time with God and you get out in the open, God going to show us for real. He's going to demonstrate his power. You see, it's one thing to talk about prayer, but it's another thing to be in prayer. You can't lead nobody into the presence of God itself. First, you've been in the presence of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. I didn't mean to then go there. The Lord Thank can you, use Jesus. You more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to help somebody my else. My God, my Amen. God. I feel something up in here. Woo. Thank you, it's Jesus. Real. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hall I'm telling you, prayer is where it's at. But preach on. Thank you, Jesus. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't in the TV. It ain't on Facebook. It's a, it, it, you got to get down before God. Jesus prayed to the sweat with like drops of blood. That means he was putting in some work. That's prayer right. is work. I prayed so much that my stomach was sore, and, and, and I just, just, just prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed because I want God to do something, not only through me. I want him to do something in me because when you pray, God can do something in you that nobody else can do. That's right. You know, and, yeah. and, and that's why I can't understand about people uh, don't realize uh, what you've been through. I lived in a church one time for eight months, and I, I took a bath in a five-gallon bucket. Some days I wouldn't even go outside and stand there and pray all day long. See, folks don't know what you went through to get to that place in God. And, and you still ain't got where God wants you yet. But if you keep on praying, no matter what's done happen, no matter what it looks like, keep on pushing and keep on pressing into God and keep pressing into God. And God will bring a change to it. It may say nothing has happened. Say the more you pray, the worse you get. But you got to keep pressing. Yeah. He told the boy to go over there and pray. Go over there and look and see what the rain is. And they say, no, ain't nothing coming. He had to go back seven times. But see, we get up too easy. Prayer don't just happen. Sometimes God answers a prayer immediately as he did with Peter. And sometimes in the lays he did with Lazarus. He always answers according to his will. But God always knows what's best for you. He knows when to send an uh, answer to your prayer. Some prayers take time. That's why he, when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, 
uh, uh, what's his name, had prayed. Uh, Daniel had prayed. God heard him the first time, but the devil tried to block the prayer. Yeah. The enemy's always trying to stop you from praying. You know, prayers gives you power to overcome everything you're going through in your life. And the enemy don't want you to pray. That's when it comes time to pray, the phone won't ring. And the folks knocking on the door don't want nothing. No. Uh, 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 I ain't when I, let's go out and eat. No, God say pray. If we would get back to the place and pray like we supposed to pray, our sins will get cleared up. The jails will be empty. The hospitals will be empty. And folks in the same side of drug and prostitute homeless will get free through the power of prayer. We got to get back to the place and get serious about prayer. Because the Bible says in 1 Peter 4 and 7, it said, In all things in hand and be watchful and serious about the purpose of prayer. We got to get back to prayer and get serious about prayer. We're not praying enough. If we were praying enough, there will be a big change happening in America, in our churches, in our communities, in our homes. We got to get back to the place of prayer again. Hallelujah. Amen. I couldn't give you more. Praise God. Because it's about prayer. prayer. Amen. No matter where you are, you can be in New York City, and I can be in Florida. I can reach you through prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Thank Lord. God for prayer. Connection with God. Communication with God. Instruction from God. Direction from God. Lead you. Guide you. Tell you when to be still, when to move, when to be quiet, when to shut your mouth, when to do what he say do. If we listen to God, we'll get a lot more done than we do talking. Your prayer life consists of 75% listening and 25% talking. I'm going to go more than that. 95% listening and 5% talking. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry. I've, I'm enjoying it. I'm just elated. I love the word of God and I love prayer, so I'm in the right place. Amen. My I, God, I feel I the Holy Ghost. Thank you, you, Jesus. I'm going to read this last scripture before our time is up. Uh, verse 15 says, Now my eyes will be open uh -huh. and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Now you go back to verse 14. Uh -huh. If my people are called by my name, will humble yes. themselves and pray, and turn from their stuff. Not, don't be talking about nobody. Else. Turn from your stuff. All right. Your mess. Because I need God to hear me. Praise you can do God. what you want to, but I need God to hear me. Then when, I come, then when I come and heal the land. But I like when the Amplifier says, if you would seek him and crave him as a vital necessity, then I'll come. When you crave for something, you can crave, like, like sometimes I know I shouldn't be drinking them sodas, but sometimes I crave a soda. And I got to have me one. You know, and I, I, I remember reading this, this book, and the, and the young man took this young man out, the older man took this young man way out in the water, and... Uh, Walked him up to his knees, and then he walked him up to his chest, and he walked him up, up to his neck, and he took his head and pushed his head under the, air, under, under the water. He said, now, son, what are you thinking about while your head was under the water? He said, I was thinking about getting some air. And we would seek God that way uh -huh. in prayer. Yeah. Because he, without God, you can't get air. Without yeah. God, you can't do nothing without yeah. God. Amen. And see, that's why I can understand uh, why people don't want to pray. You know, so used to entertainment and performance and, 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 and competition and, and fighting over this and jealousy and hating on one another and fighting with one another. There ain't nowhere in the Bible where demons fight one another. They, you know, they, they work together. So if we would pray about stuff rather than fight about stuff, we'd get a lot more done by praying than fighting with stuff. Amen. Thank Praise you, Jesus. God. Praise God. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe we have more time. Um, Let's see. I believe that uh, we need to do a prayer, a repentance prayer. Uh, you did the one on the nation, but I just want to generalize, do a general prayer on, on repentance. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come touching and agreeing with evangelist Terrell Lipsy and others that are listening, Father God. Hallelujah. We're petitioning you, Lord God, that you would touch the hearts of men and women everywhere. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that give them a mind to pray, Lord God, and to seek your face. Give them a mind to repent of their sins. Oh, God, give them uh, eyes to see that they have sinned. Give them a mind to pick up your word, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lead them and guide them, Father God, into the arena they should be in with you, Lord God, so that they can get a prayer through, that they can, hallelujah, be put in a place, Lord God, be it in the church or in the home. Yes, Oh, God, send them around people yes, who are praying Hallelujah. so that they would adopt that prayer, Thank that they would Lord. repent. Hallelujah. Yes, that their Lord. souls Thank would be Jesus. saved, that they would be Help delivered, us. that they would be set free, Lord Help God, us, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Mercy, mercy. 
Hallelujah. Help us, hallelujah. Lord. Give hallelujah them a mind. Yes, hallelujah to want to be us, saved. Uh, a mind. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, have a little talk with you. Uh, a mind. Hallelujah. You, mm, to do what is right. A mind to live right. Uh, and a mind. Hallelujah. To worship you in truth and in spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah. Give them to move away from the world. Hallelujah. And the ways of the world, Lord God, in the name of Jesus.